first of all, I am a fan, fan of certain vampire films. I'm not like a vampire hey, you know, but I love, uh, I certainly love a lot of you know, European vampire films from the 60s and 70s. And I love a lot of other European cinema too, which, you know, who wouldn't? Being American, it's been exotic for me in, in a very good way. Um, wait, what was the next part of your question? Why did you choose to make your feature film oh. on such a subject? Well, I, it wasn't, I didn't choose to make my feature film. I had so many other films I wanted to make too before this, but they all sort of had the themes in common of, um, you know, Oops. you know, accountability, um, the question of love, does it really exist? Do you, do you feel love because of something that you need or some past baggage and how long does it last? Um, you know, questions of morality, integrity. These are all things that I've been interested in in all of my screenplays that I tried to make before this one that came into this one as well. You I don't have the same style as in Father. No, but I'm very flattered if you see any similarity. That would probably be because, you know, I am his daughter, but that's the only reason we would put it together that way. Um, I don't think I shot too many close ups, but. I think perhaps because the women are so beautiful, it appeared to be all in close-up. Um, I don't know, I enjoyed very much playing that character, and uh, even though it's a vampire movie, I think I based it very much on, you know, it's a movie that's very much about relationships and the love between two sisters and an impossible love story, so I based it very much on personal experiences. And, the, you know, the charm of a vampire movie is it gives you that much more space to make it so much more romantic and so much more tragic. And I think that Zan directed us very much in that way, you know, there was no limit, as you can see. We saw the movie, I don't know what you say about Mimi. I'm very happy and thankful to be in the movie. And uh, thank you so much, Zan, for um, Give me, giving me this part. I had so much fun. And uh, that's it. You all saw the movie, so I don't, have, I don't want to say anything about the movie because it's, I feel like it's very personal what you think about the movie. I've been very pleased to be invited in the story by exam. Uh, apparently, going into a gender movie was not something I was searching for, but it's really like the, the film is. Like she is, and she has so much uh, enthusiasm and energy, and her mind is so fast that I just dove into it. It was very short for me, so I'm not the best person to, to speak about the movie, but uh, I had a lot of pleasure going in a place where I had never been before. But, <coughs> like being a diva was not really my, my type or whatever. And, and speaking in a foreign language, because that's also something I find great about the movie is that we are all French. Let's speak French. <laughs> and and she's been able to make us like work in a great way. I'm the one that speaks the like the worst English. You guys speak really well, but I thought it was really impressive to bring people to like really act in another language. The central vampire party scene as well as the um, characterizations of Juna are, are all about the, uh, the conflict between each society and each human. Uh, not the conflict, but the, the, uh, the attempt to navigate and uh, fuse the two sides of our natures, which are the primal side and the, uh, the, the person who seeks to evolve and to be kind and to be moral, to be good in the context of their society. So both the, what the party scene encapsulates and what the two sisters encapsulate is really two sides of one human, is the way I saw them, two sides of one woman. Or man, it can go either way. Um, but that's the smaller and the larger um, aspect of that in the film and amongst other you know, concepts and everything. But that, that party scene is a, is a bigger picture of what's happening You know, that's also obviously true of humans, I mean, particularly. You know, everything always evolves once you, 
work, start working with someone who embodies the role. But yes, I think that Juna is a, Josephine's character was uh, romantic, but I think in, during the course of the film, she changes into a cynic somewhat. And that cynicism, within that cynicism, she redefines her sense of romance, which I like better than just a romantic woman. Ultimately, Mimi's character, uh, Roxanne's character, is uh, an absolute, uh, you know, she calls out hypocrisy and she's very truthful, yet she's somewhat unsympathetic because she doesn't try. Um, this is what differentiates her from the other vampires, is that she doesn't try, but then again, she's accepted a reality they're all in denial about. So this is also, a, you know, a, a character that's not absolutely one-dimensional. Plus, in the scene with her sister in the beginning, I think she wants her sister's approval, and I see a vulnerability in her character as well. With Anna, <laughs> this character, Zinya, not only is she the queen mother, she's also um, weak. And this is interesting about her as well, because she is the queen. She is a great actress and a great artist. She's fulfilled in that way, and she's a maternal figure, but she is as vulnerable as a drug addict who is relapsing. And these contrasts make all the characters, to me, you know, great because they're not heroes, they're more human.